Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend. If you're a Newcastle fan, I've no doubt you did. Had a great week. In fact, Nick Pope signing this week and even bigger than that, Sven Botman now looks set to sign for Newcastle in this upcoming week. It's thought and it's being reported that his medical could be at the training ground as soon as tomorrow morning. I think that might, that might be a stretch. I could see it maybe be, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, but it's looking very good for this week. Again, something or a transfer that has literally been going on since January, but we saw with the Nick Pope one how, things, how quickly things can be done once the ball gets rolling. And as reported by Sky, Fabrizio Romano, loads of major outlets now reporting that this could be done as soon as well, the beginning of this week. Again, medical in the morning, signed and uh, sealed in the afternoon, and then announced by the end of the day. And that would be our third signing of the window. Target first, Nick Pope second, Sven Botman third. And what a signing it will be when it goes over the line. And again, I'm not going to shout too much just, just yet because it's not official, but let me know your thoughts on the Sven Botman deal down below. Again... It has been a bit frustrating um, at times, again, reported that Newcastle actually sent out a take it or leave it message to Lille after having reportedly offered as much as 45 million euros. It's now thought to be closer to 40 million with additional add-ons, but still, we were the clear front runners over AC Milan. They were um, taking their time, they were dawdling a little bit, but we are the ones to now looking very likely to hopefully have this done over in the next few days. And I thought I would jump on because Jose Font, former teammate of Sven Botman, I'll say that, but again, I'll celebrate when it's true. Former teammate of Sven Botman and Lille captain now. Again, Sven Botman, 22 years old. Again, a huge statement signing for Newcastle this summer to bring in such a young, upcoming and technically gifted player again you speak about Dan Byrne you speak about Shaw both 30 years old now again I would say that behind them in the queue at Newcastle you've got Clark who I expect to go Fernandez who I wouldn't be surprised if he went uh, Lascelles who for me is just not competing we needed to bring in competition and it will start the conversation of who was going to play at the centre back together will it be Shaw and Botman will it be uh, uh, Botman and Byrne could it be Byrne and Shaw to start things off and then we'll see Botman progress into the team as the season goes on? Who knows? But it will certainly create competition. But again, Sven Botman, who has learned at Lille, uh, obviously won uh, the French League over there and Jose Font has become uh, quite vocal in the last couple of weeks. Obviously, he's been on Talk Sport quite a lot. I think it was four or so days ago he was uh, effectively hinting that Newcastle should be looking out for Sven Botman and at the time you take everything with a pinch of salt you look back now and think maybe he was a little bit more in the know than we we quite realized and again he has been speaking on talk sport again uh this time basically um endorsing him for a, for a great time at Newcastle and a gr specifically saying uh, that he believes he will do well in the Premier League. And again, nothing's official yet. There's a whole host of reports. Again, Fabrizio Romano coming out and saying that the deal is effectively done. Personal terms have, in fact, been agreed. Um, it's just now medical and a signing of, a signing of that, that contract. Sam Vopman's actually on holiday at the moment. Um... It would not surprise me if we could potentially get it done similar to how we got the Matty Target one done, where effectively Matty Target was away, enjoying his holiday, came back on the day, got off at Newcastle Airport, went straight to St. James's Park, um, signed his deal, and then went back on holiday again. Went back on his cruise around um, the islands of Spain or wherever he is. It would not surprise me if Sven Botman did something very different. Again, he's spoken about the fact that he wants to get the deal done before pre-season, Eddie Howe has said he wants to do exactly the same. And if it means leaving his holiday a few days early. Again, that was also reported that potentially he would do, in, in fact, be, do that to get it done. It would not surprise me if he comes back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever day he comes back. Done, 
dusted. Maybe it doesn't even stay in Newcastle. Who knows? Or I suppose maybe we might want to start looking at houses. Who knows? But I get the feeling that he might come back literally just to get this done, get it announced, go and enjoy his holiday until the 1st of July so he can go and have another week off before we get started. But back to Jose Font. He has been out uh, again on Talk Sport and spoken a little bit more about Sven Botman. Again, given a... Again, last time out, he spoke about Newcastle directly. This time, he's spoken about the Premier League specifically. But, you know, it's an odd comment to make if, for whatever reason, he didn't think he was making that move. Again, the centre-back partner of Sven Botman, 38 years old now, Jose Fonten, I believe has just signed a new deal with Lille as well. So, it's crazy to think how long player careers can go on now if they really take care of themselves. If anything, you could potentially say that Jose Fonten's at the at the peak of his career at the moment. Obviously known best for being at Southampton in the Premier League, but having a fantastic time over at Lille and really, again, teaching someone, a Premier League experienced uh, player, teaching what will hopefully become a very experienced Premier League player in Sven Botman. And again, at 22, we'll talk about getting, you know, getting a young lad in who can grow with the team. 10 years, could it even be 16 years if he takes well, takes good care of himself? That's why it's so important for me to bring in someone young. Again, Shaw and Bird have been fantastic and we will have no doubt endless conversations until the start of the season on who we think should be the new number one. If you want to jump in early and let me know your thoughts down below, could we go three at the back? Or is that a bit much? Let me know your thoughts down below. But anyway, Joseph Font has said he's a great guy, um, great personality. Hard worker, tall, fast, he has a great left foot and reads the game well. He's good offensively and scores goals. He can deal with the Premier League. So obviously a great endorsement to, again, what is soon to be his former teammate, Sven Botman. And again, you look at kind of the play style of, of what he's bringing in. Again, he is quick, he is left footed. Does that potentially... Change your opinion on whether it would be Botman and Byrne or, or Botman and Shaw because of the left and the right or or really more the play style as well because I would say that Shaw is potentially more of a forward progressive centre back whereas Botman I think would and and same with Dan Byrne are potentially the more like take a step take a step back sweep sweep around kind of player but, but either way he's confident on the ball. And you talk about the kind of players that Eddie Howe wants to bring into this side. Shaw was the ready-made centre-back from the minute he walked in. He wanted ball play and centre-backs. Dan Byrne is a very confident man on the ball. It's funny how, you know, you've seen Byrne play like left-back for Brighton, despite the fact that he's seven foot nine. Yeah, he's, he's quick enough to get on the ball, run it, run it, run it players, and isn't scared. And again, I think... You know, Jose Font, a man who has spent quite a lot of time with Sven Botman to play alongside that kind of experienced defender in Jose Font. And again, it's it's different in the French League. They, they do get more time on the ball, but of anything, I think it's it's helpful to progress a, a career like his, to be able to play in a side where you can take your time a little bit more, you can get used to the game a little bit more. And I think it will be a bit of a learning curve coming to the Premier League and, and, and being able to kind of adjust to that faster style, more um, aggressive, rougher style of football. But I think, you know, this guy is uh, hard as nails and I don't think you'll have too much of a problem. But it does also strike me slightly that we are in a, we're in a good place. It's, it's a signing we needed, but we're in, a, we're in a good place to bring him in. If you think the, cent, uh, the centre mids, and we had Shelby, Joe Linton and Willock absolutely rocking it, and Bruno sat over the bench over here going, should we bring him on yet? You know, should we, should we get him involved? And we slowly got him involved, and when, when we did, he was ready to go. And I, and I don't think Sven Botman would potentially have as long as it took us to finally get Bruno involved, but it's... A privileged, privileged position to be in to go in at the start of the season with Byrne, with Shaw, and not have to throw him into the deep end straight away if we don't have to. I am, I am still not sure where I am. I, I expect he will, he will start from the beginning again. It, it's back to that preseason. Get him in early. Get him in with the lads. Train him up. And I know it won't be match experience straight away but he will learn the process with Bruno he really came in last day of the window he had no time to train or get used to what Eddie Howe wants Sven Botman will hopefully provide and we do get it done this week have the full pre-season 
uh, and, and can be sorted at time. But a glistening uh, recommendation from Jose, Fro uh, Jose Font and that he believes Sven Botman will do a fantastic job in the Premier League at Newcastle. And I've got to say, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a big one. And I've, I've spoken about this being a big week. I think it's going to be even bigger for Newcastle this week, this upcoming week as well. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you did enjoy the video, do drop a like and subscribe. Just a bit of an off-the-cuff one from me on this Sunday night. I've got loads of videos planned this week. And do subscribe. Notifications on. The minute this one is announced and over the line, I will be back. And I cannot wait to talk more about this guy once he's wearing that black and white top. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Have a great week. Uh, comment your thoughts down below on Jose Font's comments and your thoughts generally on Sven Botman, Shaw, Dan Byrne. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.